Hello and welcome to my weekly vlog, Deborah Kearse's Art Journey. Today I want to share with you where I am on my journey with my easel setup. This setup I am so happy with this last couple of days. There'll probably be little things that bug me in the future, but for right now I couldn't be more pleased. I researched and tried to reach uh, customer service people in all the different uh, places that sell various easels. Most of them are artists, so they're really busy and they don't give you much feedback, but this, I believe, meets all my needs. So if you are someone like me and is concerned about some of the same things, you might get some nuggets out of this discussion. What I do normally is to have either a live setup, in which case the lighting is a little bit better upstairs, and I will move all this upstairs, but I can actually move these pieces forward in this space and put a live setup behind me. I also paint quite a bit from photo references, which is the setup I have right going on right now. And the thing that I, was important to me was that I have something portable, not so much for plein air, but something that I could take with me from here to demonstrations that I do at galleries to um, different, you know, if I wanted to sit down and paint with people in a painting class, workshops that I host, workshops that I teach. So this, I think, in terms of portability, is perfect for me. The entire setup weighs a little bit over three pounds, so um, if that's too much for you on a trail, maybe it's not good for a plein air situation outdoors. But what I have going on here, I have my iPad, which is what I like to paint from when I'm using a photo reference. As I said, I'll oftentimes have a live setup behind here. I also have the um, lighted magnifier. If you Google on Amazon or any place, you can see there are lighted 5x daylight spectrum that's important magnifiers mine clamps to a table and this table that i have is actually one of those bedside tables that it, you can purchase them but um, i actually got mine thank you libby stevens shout out to you from a nursing home that was changing out all of their bedside tables so i got mine for, i got several of these for free and it moves up and down with a hydraulic uh, little lift which is wonderful because obviously you have all kinds of uh, ways that you can adjust your lighting and, and your um, space here. This flex easel by Gorilla that my painting is on, I like to have a slight vertical tilt when I paint, but you can put it straight vertical, you can put it straight horizontal if you're a watercolor painter. The thing that I love about it is that it also goes up and down and it will hold pieces up to 24 inches. Now, um, some of the work that I do that's 30, 40 inches, those pieces I've found ways to kind of um, precariously balance it on here as well. Oftentimes, though, I have a drawing board that I'll paint those pieces on. This Gorilla Box, I absolutely love what I'm doing here. I bought their 9 by 12 glass palette, and I slid it into the space that you would normally have your painting on. In other words, this in itself is an easel setup. You would take out into the field, your palette would be on this horizontal piece that I'm using to store my Gamsol, my jar of brushes, my paints, my mall stick. And underneath you have a, a little hook you can get for your paper towels. The reason that I like it this way with the palette in a vertical position in what where would be normally your painting surface, I like to have the same light on my painting as I do on my palette. I find it very difficult to match. I do so much color mat and value matching while I paint. I find it difficult to do that when they're in two different lighting surfaces. And if you have, this, for example, the M box where you've got the painting at one angle and the palette at another angle, oftentimes you'll see that the lighting will change the value on your little pools of paint. So um, I'm just in my head, I need for these things to match. I'm not good yet at um, looking at my palette in a different light and then matching it to what it's going to look like on my on my painting surface. So for me this was really important was to have a palette with the same relative vertical tilt as my painting and that I could put side by side as opposed to down below where it's catching reflected light and light from above and um, so this, yeah this is this is my my setup and as I said I'm thrilled with it and if you've been searching for ways to, um, you know, get something that's portable and yet 
sturdy enough that you can use it in your studio as well as places that you like to take your art. This might be, or one of these pieces might be for you. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next week.